Making graph GANs is super fun and exciting, especially when you see your image come to life. But how do you get your image onto the graph? Stay tuned, I'll show you how. Today I have a question from Sheila Franca. This is what she asks. Hi Nyler, could you tell us how to transform an image into a graph? Is there a website or program to do this? Thank you. Thank you Sheila for your question. In, the, in answer, yes, there are websites available that you can use to create your graphs, but most of those charge a fee. But I'm going to show you how you can do it on your computer with some of the apps that you already have. And I owe thanks to Kayla Jackson's channel because she showed me an easy way to do this. What I was doing is I was sketching out or drawing out my image and then I would copy it onto graph paper. But this way is so much easier. You want to start by choosing an image and I would not recommend choosing a photograph because the pixels on the photograph are going to be challenging. So I'm going to right click on my image and then I'm going to open with, click on paint. Once my image is open, you notice that my grid lines are already there because I did a project earlier and I didn't film this so I apologize but to get the grid lines you're going to click here on view and then once it opens up, just check the grid lines box. And then you'll come back to home. I'm going to select resize. And then I'm going to click on pixels. Now you have a box that has horizontal and has vertical. So you, this is where you want to determine how many stitches across, which will make up your horizontal row. And then you want to determine how many rows you want to have to determine the number of vertical rows. If you've got the box checked that says maintain aspect ratio, when you put in the horizontal stitches, it's going to automatically set your vertical stitch. The reason for this is to make sure that your photo is not distorted. So I left the maintain aspect ratio checked and so therefore my graph GAN is going to be a 62 by 79 so that's 62 stitches across and 79 rows high. But if you want yours a different size just uncheck the maintain aspect ratio and you can put whatever size you want. Just remember you may cut off some of the squares if it's too big when you go to print it. Now that the graph is done, you'll go down here to the bottom and you're going to increase the size to 800. Now you want to do a screenshot of what you just done. Now the reason we're doing a screenshot is because if you were to save this right now as a file in paint, you're not going to see those grid lines. Those grid lines are only visible while you're in paint. You want to go ahead and close up your paint and you can save it if you want but I'm not going to save it because it's not going to do me any good without the grid lines. Now I'm going to go to my files and I'm going to open up my screenshot and you notice when I double click on it it opens up in photos and here in photos I can edit. So I'm going to click on the edit button. Next I'm going to click on crop and I'm going to cut everything out of the picture, but I'm going to leave a tiny margin. Now you want to save it. You can either save it as a copy or you can replace it. And in my case, I want to replace it and I'm not even going to rename it because I know it's my screenshot that I just did. So I'm going to go ahead and close up my photos. And now here's my screenshot again. So now I'm just going to right click on my screenshot and when I right click on it I'm going to select print. Now when the print screen comes open you want to make sure um, that's going to det determine how your printer is set up but you want to make sure fit picture to frame 
is there or in your case it may not even ask you that that depends on the printer and then you press print here is the printed copy of the graph can now mind you if you print this out in color you'll get to see all your different colors but my printer prints in black and white so this is all you need and it tells you which squares are the ones that you need to crochet what colors and it's pretty simple I mean I love this new technique and I think you're gonna love it too so Sheila I hope that this video has been helpful on showing you how to make your own crochet graph can graph using your own computer and so you guys get to crocheting and making those beautiful beautiful graph gans that you can give as gifts and they're also fun to do so I hope this tip has been helpful and I hope that you try it. Happy crocheting!